And hello everyone, welcome to another episode tutorial. Welcome to another, uh, I almost said Grand Theft Auto Third Watch. I've been doing so many of those, but we're going to do a tutorial on how to install Police Menu and the update to Police Menu. It's going to be two files we're going to download today. Okay, so what you're going to need is your OpenIV and your WinRAR for police menu and the update to police menu to be installed. You're going to need your OpenIV, your WinRAR, and your main game directory also. Let's go, so go ahead and get those ready. Program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, so once you click on the link, it's going to bring you right here to Police Menu, which is in LSPDFR. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of these pictures. Now, it's not going to look like these. These little few buttons are going to be way more than these because of the update. It's going to be a lot more than those. So here's the ticket book. All you do is when you get ready to write a ticket, Click on violation one, go ahead and type it in, hit enter. If you have more than one violation, you go ahead and hit in, click on violation two, type it in, hit enter again. If you have a third one, type it in, hit enter. And once you're done, well, also, if you want to add notes down here at the bottom, you can. And once you're done, you click on the check mark. That way you can issue and it issues the citation. And these are the search screens, the pad search. Now we're going to do an update. So this background, you won't see this generic blue background once we're done with the update. We've got a couple of more files to install after we do police menu. And you can find out if there's any current warrants, any arrests that the individual had in their past, all that information. Save your citation. You can use this, but most people are using the call out interface. Even I use the call out interface, but that's just a couple of pictures of what police menu is going to look like I, I love it uh, I love it it's it's easy it's quick it's easy to understand easy to use easy to go through you can file charges write tickets uh, court information comes through so it's it's a, it's a good program so let's go ahead and get started get my win roar okay now once you have it open go ahead and double click on police menu and then grand theft auto 5 and hold right there and highlight plugins make sure you have your main game directory again it's program files steam steam apps common grand theft auto 5 make sure you have this empty space nothing should be highlighted Make sure there's nothing highlighted. Okay. You're going to highlight plugins. Bring it over. Drag and drop. I already have it. So I'm going to replace. Now what you do have to do before you install the new update. You do have to open Grand Theft Auto 5 and actually play the game a little bit. Use police menu once. That way you can get the police menu folder inside of the game and we can install the updates inside that folder. But once we're done with installing police menu, just go inside your game, play it, use police, use police menu once and then come back out and we'll finish installing the update. Okay, now once you've done that, you can go ahead and minimize, go back once, get your open IV ready. 
make sure you click on tools your ASI manager all should be green one two three green if you have any that's blue click install that'll change them all to green close that make sure you have your edit mode ready and I'll, I'm gonna give you the pathway okay if you want edit mode to stay on permanently just click on tools options default work mode right here you're gonna click the down arrow change it to edit from read only that's if you want edit mode on all the time permanently I don't just in case I'm not ready to edit something and I accidentally click on something then you got to figure out what you clicked on and try to fix it and that's a big hassle so let me go ahead and give get ready to give you guys the pathway it's going to be update update.rpf going to click on copy in mods folder or show in mods folder time 64 then you want data then CD images and then you want to look right here for scale form underscore generic dot RPF not this one not number two you want plain regular scale form underscore generic dot RPF go ahead and open that up okay now back in your police menu you want to back up one open IV and all of these files you want to highlight make sure nothing is highlighted over here highlight your WinWar files and drag and drop them I already have them so I'm gonna wait and let you get caught up just highlight all of those files and drag and drop and that's it so you're gonna go ahead and go inside your game I'm gonna pause and let you do that and we'll come back and install the update okay we are inside the game you're gonna hit left control in to open police menu unless you have a stream deck I cannot stress enough that you really need a stream deck it, it, it is so convenient but just hit left control in you'll see that menu come up and you can exit out of it okay now let's go ahead and go back out and install the update okay now once you're back out of your game we're gonna go ahead and install that update go ahead and open your main game directory and WinRAR program files steam steam apps common Grand Theft Auto 5 you want you want to go to plugins LS PDFR and then you should have your police menu folder now open the police menu open internal and we'll hold right there we're going to go ahead and open the update it should say let's see it should say new updated police menu so open that open that again and highlight both of those files it, it should look exactly like the files that are already in the game all we're gonna do is drag and drop okay so highlight both of those and drag and drop and replace and that's it that's all there is to it okay okay now if you want to change the the generic blue generic picture that we looked at a few minutes ago if you want to keep that that's fine but if you want to change that and I'll show you what it what it looks like this is what it'll look like it looks like a whole new busy a bunch of everything going on uh, a call narrative location If you want that what you're gonna do is go ahead and drag it to your desktop
okay now we don't need this anymore so you can go ahead and close when raw now what you're going to do is open your open IV if you don't still have it open okay and I'm going to give you the pathway it's going to be update update.rpf times 64 data CD images and again you want scale form underscore generic scale form underscore generic dot rpf not number two you do not want number two scale form underscore generic now all of this is in alphabetical order this whole thing is in alphabetical order and once again I'm sorry once again make sure your ASI manager everything is green make sure your edit mode is on and if copy in mod folder or show in mod folder showed up just left click always left click the one on the left okay now scroll down and look for police menu YTD it's in alphabetical order so let's go ahead and find it here it is right here police underscore menu dot YTD that's the one we want I'll give you a little bit to find it there's a lot of files in there now once you find it go ahead and double click on it go ahead and open it up double click on it police menu dot YTD and you're gonna these right here are a bunch of pictures involved with police menu and you want to look for the background that generic blue background there it is right there that's what we want that generic blue background okay and you're gonna come up here to the top and click replace you want to go to your desktop and you want to find this right here mark 43 CAD and just go ahead and double click on that boom there you go make sure you click save and that's all there is to it whenever you go into your game and open and get inside of one of your vehicles start it up your MDT will light up like like nobody's business like it's got all of these these lighted up buttons and stuff going off it looks pretty neat okay you can close out of edit close that out and you are done you don't need this anymore and so I appreciate you spending your time with me everybody's got friends and family other things you could you could be doing thanks for watching this tutorial please like and subscribe have a good one, guys. Enjoy the game.